Hello and welcome to this day in history for January 26th. January 26th is the 26th day of the year in the Gregorian calendar with 339 days remaining to the end of the year, unless it's a leap year, in which case there are 340 days remaining to the end of the year. We're still looking at words that defy that I before E rule. You know the one, I before E except after C, or the sound of long A as in neighbor or way. Interesting that we have that rule from school, but most words that have IE defy that rule. <laughs> the word we're going to look at today is conscientious. Conscientious is an adjective, which means meticulous or painstaking following one's conscience or scrupulous. The etymology of this word is from the Latin con, which is an intensive prefix, and seer, which means to know, ultimately from the Indo-European root ske, to cut or split, which also gave us schism, ski, shin, science, conscience, nice, and a few other words that I can't quite figure out how to pronounce without looking them up. Earliest documented use of the word conscientious is 1603. I want to take a moment here to remind you that links to my research are included in the show notes and to ask you to go ahead and click that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section and share this video with others. And with that, we're going to start in the year 1500. It is that Spanish explorer Vicente Yanez Pinzon had commanded the Nina during Christopher Columbus' first expedition to the New World. And on January 26, 1500, he reached the northeastern coast of Brazil during a voyage under his command, making him the first European explorer to reach Brazil. 1564, the Council of Trent established an official distinction between Roman Catholicism and Protestantism. On January 26, 1788, British settlement began in Australia. In 1837, Michigan was admitted as the 26th U.S. state. Interesting that it's the 26th state admitted on the 26th. <laughs> The first prohibition law in the history of the United States was passed in Tennessee on January 26, 1838, making it a misdemeanor to sell alcoholic beverages in taverns and stores. The bill stated that all persons convicted of retailing spiritous liquors would be fined at the discretion of the court and that all fines would be used in the support of public schools. This is the birthday of Austrian-American singer Maria von Trapp, who was born on January 26, 1905. If that name is familiar to you, it might be because you've heard of her 1949 book, The Story of the Trapp Family Singers, which inspired a 1956 West German film, The Trapp Family, which then inspired the 1959 Broadway musical, followed by the 1965 movie, The Sound of Music. Maria died in 1987 at the age of 82. American actor and race car driver Paul Newman was born on January 26, 1925. He's also known as a director, activist, and businessman, and co-founder of Newman's Own Brand, which you can still find in your grocery stores today. Paul died in 2008 at the age of 83. On January 26, 1926, Scottish inventor John Logie Baird launched a revolution in communication and entertainment when he gave the first public demonstration of Baird's invention, a pictorial transmission machine, which he called a televisor. We call them televisions today. On January 26, 1950, the Indian Constitution took effect, forming the Republic of India. In 1961, John F. Kennedy appointed Janet G. Travell to be the first woman physician to the president. In 1965, Hindi became the official language of India. The Dukes of Hazard was a television comedy about two good old boy cousins in the rural South and their souped up 1969 Dodge Charger known as the General Lee. And it debuted on CBS on January 26, 1979. In 1980, Israel and Egypt established diplomatic relations. And that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. 
Again, links to my research are included in the show notes. Don't forget to click that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, let me know your thoughts in the comments section, and share this video with others. Thanks again and I'll see you next time. Let's try something different here. That might not make it into the video, we'll see. All right, do that again. Okay, do that again. Okay, let's try that again. Not too salty though. It's gotta be just right. No, it's not. Okay, hold on. That's not a nice way to say it.